Hello guys, this is Vijay Pratap Singh and today we are going to sculpt a basic head from a spear. So let's start. So this is a this is a head I extracted from a spear by using Dynamesh by using move brush and all. And now let me save my file. So right now I'm pulling the ears and you, I'm stretching the shape with my move brush and. Uh, you can see I'm smoothing the ears towards front because ears are generally more slanted towards front and uh, you can see like how easy how easy to use a move brush and uh, for these kinds of shape and now I'm going to make the eye line and uh, you can see it's all it's almost aligned with the ears and now I'm working on the temple part of the face Temple part, making the temple line as well, or temporal line as well. Now working on the side of the face. So right now you can clearly see the side plane for the face, and now the angle of jaw. You can also say lower jaw. So whenever you are now softening uh, these features little bit, so we can uh, see things more clearly. And now fixing the seam here for the ears. So whenever you are working uh, on the face, uh, don't just jump onto the face directly. Before uh, jumping on the face, make sure you have uh, uh, some knowledge about uh, facial bone and muscles as well. So you can make some more better uh, or you can understand in a more better way. And now I am fixing uh, the ears profile a little bit more. and. Uh, you can see now we are making the eye socket here it's a rough eye socket generally eye socket is approximate 10 to 15 degree slanted towards up but it's fine for now and now i'm making the nose and nasal bone as well you can see a little tip around the middle of the nose that is nasal nose nasal nose always comes uh, as nasal bone or you can say nasal bone actually so nasal bone always comes a little bit top uh, from the middle of the nose slanted slanted up and now we are working on the cheekbone and uh, fixing the side profile of the face and moving the ears slightly in the back because they were so far they were so uh, fr forward of the face and now we are working on the intraorbital fossa of the face and maxilla and now adding some chin as well so you can see how i'm adding chin and this is a very important muscle for the face this is a sternocleidomastoid and then adding some volume around the neck so you can see it's uh, pretty easy if you understand some uh, bony landmarks some muscles and now arches supercilia arches of the face and now this depth on the on the frontal bone and you can see i made the eminence as well the that bulgy amount on the forehead and this is the temp temporal bone uh, volume and now again i'm working uh, near the lips and making some basic lips and uh, you can shape your lips by move brush as well it's pretty easy actually you can see how i'm doing it and you can also uh, soften sometimes in between if you see like things are getting crazy so you can soften and you can try again i always do like that and you can see we are actually doing a likeness project and maybe uh, i will update more videos uh, on this guy in the future And now you can see, let me save the file. File saving is very important when you are working. Don't just keep working. Always keep saving your file as well. Uh, whenever you are working on any project, it's very, very important. <coughs> and uh, so basically, whenever you are approaching to face, it's uh, very important uh, that you uh, learn the bony landmarks you learn the muscles as well see their behavior from where they are starting where they are going like that 
uh, even uh, always uh, try to check uh, like uh, fatty tissues as well like how fat is working um, on the faces like on which area we have more fat uh, of course uh, fat pad uh, uh, matters a lot when you are sculpting your face and now we are uh, back again uh, uh, on the neck portion So right now our intention is not to like do the likeness from uh, starting only first uh, you have to get some nice base actually where you have some basic components basic facial features like ears nose lips like that so whenever you start any project you know, like uh, make sure in the starting first you have some uh, basic shape and then you can uh, keep uh, uh, enhance and uh, enhance your those shapes and you can make whatever you have to make it can be a likeness project or it can be something conceptual as well <coughs> so right now you can see we have uh, um, improved a lot from that spare and now i'm softening some of the details because they are too harsh right now and I also made the forehead a little bit more slanted towards back because in males uh, forehead is usually more uh, backward in females forehead will be more uh, in the front like almost 90 or 85 degrees and now I'm going to make uh, the eyelids now we are working on eyelids and uh, you can see how I'm making the eyelids and uh, uh, you can, like uh, after, and right now I'm going to spend some time uh, here and I'm using my move brush again it's pretty fast and now I'm making some zygomatical depth as well and now that uh, lower eyelid plate as well and now adding some more depth to the eye socket and let's again save the file important step and now we are going to spend some time on the lips so making the upper ridge of the lip pretty sharp because in lips uh, uh, in, in, if you compare the upper ridge uh, from the lower ridge, they are always a little bit sharper. Lower ridge of the lip is uh, always more roundish and now we are working on cheekbone. And now if you see I am adding some uh, uh, body landmarks uh, in a more prominent way. And now we are coming and adding this uh, lip node. So you have to add these nodes around the corner of the lip, just slightly top, uh, slightly top lips. And now we are adding this fatty tissue as well. So this fold we are getting because of fat. And adding masseter as well, masseter always gives uh, very good volume uh, on the side of the face. And you can see now the side of the face has a lot of volume. Again polishing uh, back my shape uh, again, adding some fat here and fixing the eye socket and the expression a little bit. So you have to do this thing um, a lot of time. This is very important stuff which I right now am doing. If we are making portrait, keep this uh, field of view value approximate, uh, you can say uh, 20 to 24 or 25 because uh, that looks more natural. And now I'm breaking uh, the lower uh, body, the, the lower neck part here. Or you can say upper uh, torso, slightly. We don't have to make the full torso and all, but little bit you can show. Like around the neck. 
so you can make uh, the t-shirt as well later and it will it will uh, suit on him perfectly and now we are working on the nasal la you can see how we are working on the nasal la and or you can say nostrils working on their volumes always uh, check your uh, uh, proportions always check your shapes from uh, various directions like from top bottom three fourth angles so you will get more better idea like okay how your shapes are working and now we are adding some fat here this is a very important part of the eye and now we are on forehead again and adding some volumes so you can see basically I haven't uh, like uh, I am not following the the, mo the model uh, uh, sh like likeness and all right now I'm just trying to capture uh, basic shapes uh, of the face or you can say the basic needs of the face so later on we can go further we can uh, then po polish them more and we can make them more close to the original reference. And now again working on the ears and now you can see like slowly slowly our model has been improved a lot making the ear node as well working on anti helix and this is your uh, and here we are uh, working on the lower lip volume so in this part we get uh, orbicular RS muscle you have to add some circular kind of volume on the bottom of the lip and adding little bit chest little bit slight chest and now you can see like we have improved a lot the next step uh, in the class uh, will be retopo of this mesh we will we, we will do the retopo of this mesh and then we will do the uv and after that uh, on that model we are going to do the likeness of this guy of this character and now you can see how slowly uh, we have got a very nice shape first at a starting point of course right now they are not uh, pretty much polished but uh, still uh, it's uh, very good now we can see a lot of uh, uh, features of the face and in a very bold way like they are very sharp we can see very very clearly right now and it's very important because right now we are going to do the if you can see the mesh is very low and we are going to do the retopo of the face so if you don't make the features sharp in rotopo they will get more dull because uh, topogon makes the mesh more softened so if you have low poly mesh it will become more softened so that's why I keep these shapes a little bit sharp and now you can see we are pretty much done with the, the basic head so guys if you like the video please uh, share comment and subscribe this video and we will again uh, uh, meet with the new videos pretty soon so bye bye guys take care